Hey, right, what's up, Mo? This is Elway, and you now watching DMV Eats. <laughs> Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Elway. Look, we back, man. I got the man behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? I got affiliates with me. You know, it's been a while. Hey, listen, first and foremost, I want to shout out to all my supporters. Y'all are the reason that we are here today. Why would that bike ride through like that? that was just... Man, he just fucked up my whole intro. But nah, shout out to all, all the supporters, man. Y'all the reason that we here today. I reached out to bro. I said, man, we got to get back active because literally y'all rushed me everywhere y'all seen me at and was asking like where the reviews at where the reviews at so we back all right i decided to do pink taco today i normally do black owned establishments i'm not sure if this is black owned or not you know, we don't know yet but that's normally my thing but this genre went viral a couple times um and i want to see what the hype is about you know what i'm saying i want to see if it's what they said it was or if it's good or it's bad you know we here to just see what's what and let y'all know so today we're at pink taco man So we got our food, man. First and foremost, let me say this. The customer service was, was very good and they were fast. I'm talking about from the time we put our order in, maybe five, six minutes, we got our food. No funny, like it was like that. But hold on, let me give you a disclaimer. This particular Sunday, we came after brunch was over. So it was kind of slow. So maybe that was a reason why they were fast. I don't want y'all to come while it's busy and be like, I ain't get my food in five minutes. so. Don't beat me up. It's kind of slow right now that we came. We literally missed the brunch. So we was in that transition of they probably was busy for brunch and then they like lunch was like mild because we came around like 2.30ish, something like that. You know what I'm saying? On a Sunday. So hey, you know what I'm saying? But they said it's normally jumping in here. So, you know, just be mindful of that. All right, cool. Squabow. I got this beautiful, beautiful nacho right here. Um. The nacho plain by itself is $15. It's a $5 add-on for chicken. It's a $6 add-on for brisket. I had the chicken, all right? Because we got some brisket tacos over here. So let's get to it. I want to try to, this can be difficult. I want to try to get a little bit of everything in one, one swoop. Bear with me, y'all. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. We right outside of the jump too, so like y'all hear any background noise or whatever. No. Shout out to people in the background. They just walking by, doing their thing, walking their dogs or whatever. Guys. Pretty good. It's not. It's not the best nacho I've had, you know what I'm saying? It's not the worst. It's good. It's not bad, you know? I think the pricing is pretty much right where it need to be for, you know, nacho. So you get, you get a lot of food. It ain't skinny at all. So, 15 by itself plus the, you know, you pay $20 if you add on the, uh, chicken or brisket, or brisket I think it's worth it because at the end of the day it's going to fill you up you know but I've had better tasting nachos like let me taste the chicken by itself it's 
cool. It got flavor, but I don't know. It seems like the chicken is missing something. Like, I don't know. It ain't got that, like, to me personally, Chipotle chicken, like, got more flavor. Like, Chipotle chicken is better than that shredded chicken. It's tender. It's moist, though, but it ain't, it ain't got that, that, mm. Sorry, though. Not bad. Not bad. All right, hold on. We got some chips and salsa. I'm about to try all these little sauces for y'all. Let y'all know what's what, right? Now, let me hit y'all. One of these green sauces is spicy, <laughs> and one of them is not. <laughs> and shout out Balenciaga Bug, right? I'm going I'm to shout his Instagram. I ain't going to say his government name. You know what I'm saying? But he work at Pink Taco. You know what I'm saying? I told him I was going to shout him out. He said he tuned in, right? Uh, he had them in order. And my, and my goof ass put it in a bag and mixed them up. <laughs> so now I don't, like, I don't mind spicy food, though. But I'm just saying, I wish I could tell y'all. When I taste it, y'all know. I'll let you know. I'll let y'all know. Ooh. Right to it. You can tell they chips, they little tortilla chips. These must they make these in the back. They got to. These don't look like they came out. And yeah, these don't look like they came out no bag. You know what I'm saying? I right, just try this one first. Bro. That was cool. That definitely was spicy, so it must be this green one. That don't have zero spice to it. That joint was just flavor. That tastes like, like a roasted tomato. This one like a roasted tomato type of situation. It's cool. So this one should be the spicy one right here. A legend. Let's see. That's the spicy one. So you see the green one with the little chunks? That's the spicy one. Now to me, it ain't, it ain't all that. It got a little kick. If you, you know what, let me stop saying that because I like spicy food, so. It's spicy. You can tell they got something in there a little bit above a jalapeno. All right. Let's try this guac. That thing look fresh. Remember? Not some guac be brown because it's been sitting. This thing bright green. That thing fresh. That guac on the money. I'm gonna put this guacamole on my nacho. Yeah. They did that. Shout out to the chef in the back. Mm. All right, mm. We got ta da. So let me give y'all a little backstory on these tacos, right? These tacos was literally made by DMV affiliates. Let me tell you why. <laughs> My man said he wanted everything on the side because sometimes people put too much, they get heavy handed with the ingredients, right? Facts. So, you know, y'all rate my man in the comments. Let me know how he did. So you know what I'm saying? One to, one to 10, did he do a good job? If I didn't tell y'all that he made these, which y'all know he made them. And shout out to this container. This is very, listen, young fool, to go, I've never seen an individual to go contain it for your tacos. So it keep everything nice and neat, you know? They, they get a, that, that should get like some bonus points or something for that right there, alone. Seriously. All right. Now I know y'all seen the juice running out when I took a bite. There's a lot of flavors going on. 
but you know, I'm being honest. I feel like the brisket is a little bit too salty for me, my liking. It's like they got heavy handed on the salt. It's tender, it's juicy. I just feel like there's too much salt. Even though I taste like other stuff in the background, like what they try to, you know, but they season it with. There's other stuff there, but it's, it's heavy on the salt. I'm gonna lie, I'm starting to believe what they were saying. Like, these three tacos was $18, right? Come for yourself. The atmosphere, the ambiance inside, beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Um, three tacos is a little pricey. We go to Chipotle and get three tacos for probably like maybe $10 or something like that. You know? And you know what you're getting. Only thing about only thing about Chipotle, you be ready to knock one of them niggas out because they be shaking a spoon on the on the on the on the no homo on the meat. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to give you extra steak, extra chicken. Not even extra. They don't just make it like you know like it's supposed to be made. Like, but it's plenty. It's plenty brisk in here. They not skimping you. You know what I'm saying? Fine diner. The price point is pretty much where it's supposed to be because it's not like a, it's not a fast food type of setup. It's more of a sit down, dine in, get you a drink. You know, it's elegant. But like I said, it's salty. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it 100, like to me. You know, maybe y'all got different taste buds than me, but to me, it's a little bit too much salt. Salt. Overall, I'm gonna tell you where to take them over the top. The look, everything in there is nice. You feel me? So like, this is a good date night spot. Your lady, significant other, your side piece, whoever you choose to take out, you know what I'm saying? This is a nice, this is a nice spot to take some mine. You know, it looks very nice. The menus are beautiful. They got indoor and outdoor seating. We was gonna sit outside, but a lot of people uh, called out today. They spanking me today, y'all. They spanking me. Hold on, I got a song for that, y'all. Bear with me, man. Y'all got to. It's gonna size the. It's gonna size the review, y'all. It's gonna size the review. I got to, y'all. Only because they spanked me like that. Hold on. They made me forget what I was saying, so y'all, I gotta give it to y'all now. Alright, hold on. Rolled in an ambulance car. <laughs> I, that was like, I had to look. I was watching that video, bro. I watched that video 20 times yesterday, y'all, and I laughed every single time, and I don't even smoke no more, right? I had this, they, I been in the ambulance, y'all, like, messed up what I was trying to say to y'all, right? But overall, ambiance, look, customer service, I give them all, they get a, they get an A for all of that. Food, the nacho, like I said, fair like pretty average nacho right ain't nothing to write home about i ain't about to jump up and down you know what i'm saying i've had better right that brisket they said the og shout out to nelson too i can say nelson name because he said you know it's cool nelson said that one of their best sellers is the og taco we was going to try that but it didn't matter we decided on the brisket we do what we want to do right all right um maybe the og taco would be a little better but i'm going to find the review of the girls who spanked this jump because that jump was hilarious. It's on shout out uh, the homie DV Hudson who was on his channel. 
uh, on his on his Instagram. We're gonna find it. I'm gonna try to add snippets of it to this video because they was right. You know what I'm saying? I'm sweating, y'all. I ain't know it was this hot out when we first pulled up. It didn't seem like it was this hot outside, and we in the shade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I mean, come see for yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's everything. It's right down here by the uh, stadium. Everything is nice down here now. You know. It's a it's a good date night spot. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Maybe you can find something on the menu that suits you. They got lobster enchiladas. My man was very adamant about trying it. I was like, nah, I don't waste your money on that. You know, that's not what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a part of their culture. The, the the lobster. You know what I'm saying? Leave that to the people who make lobster. Feel me? Ain't no point in spending top dollar on some lobster and then it's it's hitting like these tacos. You'd be mad that you wasted your money. You know what I'm saying? So we tried a few things. All these sauces are pretty decent. The spicy one got a little kick. Got a little kick. Guacamole get a this, this guacamole is A1. I ain't gonna lie, this some good guac right here. If you like guacamole, yeah, you gonna love this right here. It's pretty good. Yeah, come to Pink Taco. See for yourself. We back. We about to be consistent. I'm about to start trying to really like spank y'all with the reviews, man. Thank y'all so much. Even um Balenciaga Boog, he shouted said, man, I'm tuned in. He was talking about the Dannys and all that. We didn't wasn't even expecting that. You know what I'm saying? I was just telling. Affiliates on the ride up here, like what re-motivated me, man. So listen, y'all don't know what people are going through, man. I've been taking losses in my family. You know, I've been going through a lot of little depression stuff like that, and just be trying to keep going. And sometimes you don't be motivated. So y'all see this episode, extra like it, extra share it, extra comment on it because y'all the reason that I that I did this. We not making no money off this. We come out, we spend our money. The YouTube channel was demonetized. We not, you know what I'm saying. So right now, at this current moment. We are doing this purely off the love to give y'all something for y'all date nights so y'all out nice with the girls or out nice with the fellas and y'all looking for something to do, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna try something new and you looking for, you know, a reason or a place because a lot of y'all tell me that like, I help y'all find and try new things. So I like to be a part of that and I like for affiliates to be a part of y'all experiencing new things in the city, you know what I'm saying? Stepping outside of your comfort zone. But I will tell you this, I was getting ready to compare this to Don Taco. Don Taco's still number one with the tacos we had so far. They not messing with Don Taco. So if you wanna go across the bridge, check out Don Taco. If you in the city and you want, now that's that, that's the difference. Don Taco got better tacos, but the setup is so tiny on the inside and it's so small. Pink Taco got them beat by a mile on the ambiance alone. You know what I'm saying? So if you want the ambiance, you come get, once you drink enough tequila, the tacos might bust to you. I don't know, we ain't get drunk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The tacos might hit different after you, you know, after the Casamigo kick in. Big but thanks. man, come see for yourself, man. I love y'all, I really do from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all, y'all keep, when you see me, tell me spot y'all when we go check out and I'm going, we'll push up, all right? Gone.